So you've just switched on your computer and you've then gone to go check your emails, which normally you would use the Microsoft Windows Mail application, which is a free application built into Windows, which is in Windows 10 and Windows 11. You've clicked on to open the application and all of a sudden it's come up, it's gone away, and you've then been brought up with something else, which is called Microsoft Outlook. And you're now wondering, well, what's going on? Why has it changed? Let's explain that and we'll look further into what's actually happened and why Microsoft are doing this. So before we do go ahead and look into it, guys, just a quick introduction. My name is Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Welcome back to the video. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and jump straight into the video. So as you can see, we're now back on our Windows 11 desktop. So I'm going to show you something which has probably happened to some of you users out there that do use this Microsoft Windows Mail application. So you've gone to check your emails, let's say first thing in the morning, and obviously the application that you may use is called Mail, which again is a free application that comes with Microsoft Windows. So if we now just jump into Mail here, and as you can see, we're now brought up with this new version of Outlook. And, and it, as you can see here, it says, welcome to the new Outlook. And you're thinking, well, why has it changed? Well, Microsoft actually announced, or you may have seen a banner, which was at the top, which I'll show you a preview on screen now of what it used to look like. And it appears that Microsoft have actually decided to discontinue the support for, my, for Windows Mail as of the 31st of December, 2024, which I'm sure they announced they're going to be rolling out in May 2025 to all Microsoft 365 business users as well, which is caused them quite a bit of uproar at the moment. But again, we'll roll in and look into that later on in the video. Now, all of a sudden, you're probably thinking, well, what do I need to do here? Why is it being changed? Well, as I said, Microsoft is trying to force users to use a Microsoft Outlook desktop application or a, basically a web-fronted uh, application, which basically is the online version of Outlook.com. So this is actually an official document which or article which is on Microsoft's site. And as you can see, it's called Outlook for Windows, the future of mail, calendar, and people on Windows 11. So if we would scroll down and just look just right here, as you can see, it says support has ended for Windows Mail and Calendar. And it says support for Windows Mail, Calendar, and People ended on the 31st of December, 2024. You can no longer be able to send or receive emails or events using Windows Mail and Calendar. Any local emails, calendar events, and contacts stored in Mail, Calendar, and People will remain exportable following the steps. And they give you like a nice little link here, which you can go through. So maybe you had emails stored in there that you're now missing, that you now have to go through a whole process of exporting and then trying to find out how to sort those out, which is, it's a lot of grief, but unfortunately this is Microsoft for you when they do decide to change software. But as you can see, if we look further down, it says move to new Outlook, and it says you have several options of moving to new Outlook. So you can either download the application from the store, or when you go to open Windows Mail app and then select open Outlook from the dialog box, it will then open. So basically it just happens exactly what I showed you. So you'll go to the Mail app, and all of a sudden the Outlook will then flash right in front of you, and it will automatically be swapped over to the new version if it's downloaded on your machine. And if you scroll down a little bit further here, it's Microsoft have tried to sort of give you some reasons as to why you should use the new Outlook. And as you can see, one of the reasons is it says feel secure, which, yeah, it's quite funny because, again, I mean, feeling secure, they're not exactly saying you are secure. It's saying that you should feel a bit more secure. But, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a bold statement from them. You know, there's various things as well, saying you can streamline the accounts, you know, stay organized uh, and obviously unify your accounts, etc., and accomplish more. So again, they're just trying to push all their users to using one application rather than having a, a home variant of the application and a business variant of the application. So if we now jump back into the Microsoft Outlook app, so again, you'll probably be prompted with this screen. It won't actually migrate you straight to the applications. You'll have to go through the process of actually set up your account again. So if we actually jump over to Reddit here, this is actually a full list, which uh, th thanks to the user called Pombolina, has actually posted on Reddit. And this is basically, again, another user that has gone through the entire Outlook and explained a lot of the features that are missing compared to new features. So as you can see, some of the new features are pin and unpin emails, so you can pin them right at the top of your mailbox. Uh, you've got snooze email, so again, obviously you won't be uh, alerted about any any like conversations after you've snoozed it. Um, you can change the density, so how your mailbox looks. So these are new features, and then you've got features that are removed. Now, these are really quite serious features because if you are using this application for business and you're then going to be forced to onto, uh, onto using Microsoft Outlook in May of 2025, then it's going to cause a lot of issues. And there's actually now uh, IT admins trying to find out how to actually prevent their users from being upgraded to this new version of Outlook 
because for example we've got clients like law firms and various different industries which require specific add-ins to be working which only work with the classic version of Outlook and not this business variant and not this new version that Microsoft is going to be pushing out onto its users. So as you can see if we scroll down here there's quite a few uh, sort of things missing here so you've got Outlook forms, you've got ribbon cannot be hidden, I mean, you can't even customize the ribbon, which is the little uh, the options at the very top of Outlook. So you can actually customize and have certain tabs and have certain options available to your uh, to, to exactly how you wanted it. And those are just very, very basic features which are now included in the software, which I think is absolutely horrendous. And it sh again, this shouldn't be rolled out to its users. You can even see here, they haven't even got support for PST file support yet, which is just crazy. So yeah, so even very basic features like that, which again, which most companies and even home users will actually rely on, it doesn't even have support for that either. So this is now where you're probably going to be thinking, what do I do now going forward? Now, if it, if it was me as a personal suggestion, this is probably where you need to have a deep think and think about maybe using a third party email uh, application. Now, there's quite a few choices out there. For example, one of them is a company called Thunderbird, which is owned by Mozilla, who also famously make the Mozilla Firefox browser. Now, I've moved quite a lot of clients onto Thunderbird. Thunderbird is really good. It really does support, uh, for example, Outlook.com or IMAP or uh, POP3 if you're using it, which you shouldn't be using really. But if you're still using POP3, you can also add POP3 accounts to it as well. Um, and there's also various other applications out there as well, such as EM Client. So again, these are all free up to a certain use. I think EM Client allows you up to two email accounts and anything after two, I think you've got to pay for it. But it's it's not a lot of money a month. It's quite cheap. But still, unfortunately, like I said, it's, it's, things like this just cause a lot of inconvenience because you've had software to you for free for years. And all of a sudden, Microsoft push out a change. And now you're finally having to fork out some money just to even get basic features of an email client, which I can understand some people will be frustrated. But again, hopefully this video has explained a few things, guys. Again, unfortunately, like it's just one of those things that have now come out. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. If you can leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Please also smash that like button if you found this video helpful. And also please hit that subscribe button as well, as again, we're on the way to 3,000 subscribers now. And also a big personal thank you to everyone who's also donated or uh, sent me a big uh, super thanks, obviously where you paid some money towards the channel. Again, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for that, guys. I'll put their names on screen now. But again... As always, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.